Hello students, in the previous lecture, we have seen what are the prerequisites of test method validation. In this lecture, we will look at what is needed in order to determine the type of test method by answering two questions. First question that needs to be answered is the requirement that needs to be tested. For example, foreign material, length, tensile strength, go no go measurements are the requirements that needs to be tested. And the second question is high level description of the proposed test method. For example, length of a plastic tube using a calibrated ruler, resistance measurement of an electric wire using a multimeter, go no go measurements using a pin gauge, presence of foreign material on a sterile package. These are the high level descriptions of the proposed test methods. If we answer these questions, we can determine the type of test method. All right, if we answer those two questions I just discussed, we will be able to interpret the type of test methods as shown here. Now, let's look briefly at types of test methods. First category is inspection methods. In inspection methods, we have visual, functional, and design. Second category is industry recognized standard test methods. And the third category is conventional test methods. In conventional test methods, we have attribute, we have variable test methods. And in variable test methods, we have destructive and non-destructive. In fourth category of test methods, we have in-house test methods. And in in-house test methods, we have attribute methods and variable methods. And in variable methods, we have destructive and non-destructive. We have already looked at what an attribute and variable measurement is in the previous lectures. We will look at each of these test methods with examples in the coming lectures. This concludes our lecture. Thank you and I will see you guys in the next lecture.